When we're looking for images, so often we'll just Google whatever we're looking for and take those images. But one of the things we've talked about a lot this year is how when we create something online, we like to be acknowledged for the ownership of that and we like to acknowledge the things other people have created. We want to use them in a way that is fair. Now there's a Creative Commons licensing process and people can choose what level of license they use on their photos. So when we search for photos, we want to look for how they've been licensed. In order to do that, we're going to use Google Advanced Image Search. Google Advanced Image Search gives us more options when we're searching. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ask for the Google Advanced Image Search. And it should come up. And you click on that and you can see we've got a lot of choices here. This is typically the only line you would fill out. Find images with. And we're looking for national park images for our national park brochure. And I was just at Pinnacles National Park. So I'm going to say Pinnacles National Park. Now if I do nothing and click search, we can see that these are all of the images that come up. And if we look right up here, we can see under search tools, we can choose usage rights right here. Now, not filtered by license is the most wide open, but that doesn't tell me anything about what permissions the people who are taking these pictures have allowed. So I want to use labeled for reuse. I'm not going to modify them. If I was, I'd use reuse of modification. and I'm well, I can use non-commercial reuse because I'm not going to use these in a brochure that I'm going to use to actually sell anything. I'm using these for a school project. Once I've used the search tools to sort by usage rights labeled for non-commercial reuse with modification, I've got a lot of photos that I could choose from. I'm going to pick the one that I like and then I'm going to get the information I need in order to be able to use it responsibly. Now right here we can see this is Pinnacles National Park Wikipedia and if I click visit page that will take me to where this actual image is housed and here it is. If I click on the image here it'll take me to the Wikipedia page where this image lives and this is where I have all of the information I need. I can tell that this image was taken by this person right here, Brocken Inaglory and I want to give them credit on the image that I use. So here I can choose which resolution I want to download from the image. Since I'm going to be putting this in a print brochure and it's going to be small, I don't need the resolution to be huge. So I'm going to click on this one, which is small. Once I've selected the smaller photo, I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to save image as. I'm going to save this image to my pictures library so I know where to find it. So once I do that, in this case I'm just going to save it in this general area and I've got it named Pinnacles. And I'm going to hit save. Once I've saved that image in my pictures, I now need to save this description. So I can actually copy this and I can either open a Microsoft Word document or a Google Drive document and just write this information in there. Um, I'm going to go to Google Drive and I'm going to create a document. I'm going to title this document before I get started and that title is going to be Photo Credits. National Park that first panoramic that I took has these photo credits so you can see that I'm not going to need the camera location necessarily when I create these photo credits but this does tell me exactly who did this and when so I can give them proper credit uh, which is really important and when we place the images into our publisher document we're going to expect that you create a caption for that image that includes photo by with the author of the photo and the date. So 
that's a little bit about how to find an image safely that you're allowed to use using Google Advanced Image Search, copying the image into your pictures file, recording the information in a Word or Drive document so that when you're creating the brochure you can give proper credit for the picture. Thanks.